about the uh, uh, compelling uh, news back home, and that's from Aurora, Colorado, where we were on Friday. And this is about your own record vis-a-vis -vis what happened here. As governor, you signed an assault weapons ban in Massachusetts, and you said at the time, quote, these guns are not made for recreation or self-defense. They are instruments of destruction with the sole purpose of hunting down and killing people. Do you still believe that? Well, I actually signed a piece of legislation, as you described, that banned assault weapons in our state. It was a continuation of prior legislation, and it was backed both by the Second Amendment advocates like myself and those that wanted to restrict uh, gun rights because it was a compromise. Both sides got some things improved in the laws as they existed. And I happen to think that with regards to the Aurora, Colorado disaster, we're wise to uh, continue the time of memorial and, uh, and think of the comforting of the people affected. And, and political implications, legal implications, are something which will be sorted out down the road. But I don't happen to believe that America needs new gun laws. A lot of what this uh, young man did was clearly against the law, uh, but the fact that it was against the law did not prevent it from happening. As a practical matter, do you have a problem with being able to buy 6,000 rounds of ammunition off the Internet? Well, I, I, I don't know that I'm going to be able to find a way to prevent people who want to pr provide harm from being able to purchase things that could carry out that harm. What I want to do is find the people who represent a danger to America and find them and keep them from having the capacity to use or buy things that could hurt, hurt, hurt other people. You said a few years back, quote, I don't line up with the NRA. Is that still true? Well, on every single issue, uh, there are differences between myself and the NRA. On many issues, we, uh, we share a common commitment to the Second Amendment and the right of people to bear arms. But I'm sure from time to time, there'll be issues where, where they and I might part. I, I don't have one for you right now. Uh, but, uh, but their agenda is not entirely identical with my own. I, I don't know that I line up 100% with, uh, uh, with... And things, however, like Aurora, Colorado, do you see why Americans get frustrated at politics? Uh, they, ca they can see and hear your words from earlier in, in their career. People are hurting out there. Perhaps they want to start a national conversation about whether an AR-15 belongs in the hands of a, of a citizen, whether a citizen should be able to buy 6,000 rounds off the Internet. You see the, the argument. Well, this person shouldn't have had any kind of weapons and bombs and, and, and other devices. And, and it was illegal for him to have many of those things already, but he had them. And, and so we can, we can sometimes hope that just changing the law will make all bad things go away. It, it won't. Changing the heart of the American people may well be what's essential to improve the lots of the American. And just uh, to back up one more question. So uh, to distill your views, you're saying there, was, there is no legislative remedy uh, to have prevented in advance what we've just seen in Aurora. This is the argument that people determined who are emotionally disturbed are going to get what they want. Well, we'll, we'll all hear what, what kinds of ideas come forward, and, and, and I'll hear the ideas as well. Uh, there have been, in the past, there has been an effort to say, let's do background checks on people who seek to obtain uh, weapons. And, and those kinds of background checks are oftentimes able to find people who are disturbed or people who've committed crimes in the past. And I've indicated that those kinds of background checks, uh, consistent with the law, uh, can help prevent uh, a, a crime. Uh, but I don't see a, a new piece of legislation which is going to keep someone, for instance, who was building bombs from building bombs, given the fact we already have that legislation. He's not allowed to do what he was doing. Just, just having a law saying someone can't do a bad thing doesn't always keep a person from doing a bad thing. And what does it tell you that uh, applications for guns since the shooting are up 41% in the state of Colorado and that our cameras found about 50 people in line at one gun shop yesterday outside Denver? Well, I think it says to people that, that in order to feel secure from those who might prevent uh, or uh, present a danger that, that some feel they need to have their own protection. That, that is, after all, the nature of the Second Amendment in our nation, which is that people have a right to defend themselves. And uh, I continue to believe that that's the right course for the nation, that the Second Amendment, like the other amendments, should be respected and supported.